Now we have three stocks and we have monthly returns. And we want a formula that will calculate the mean or the average in a single cell and spill across the columns. Well, we get to use the amazing new by column array function. This is actually a lambda helper function because we put in an array, comma, and we could use the lambda function, which allows us to create whatever function we want. But we can choose from the dropdown or use one of Excel's many other functions. We need average, so hit tab. We put this in, and by call knows to calculate the mean or the average for each column. Now the geo mean, geometric mean, that's a better calculation when you have rates of change like this. But when we do by call and try to find it from the dropdown, it's not there. But no problem. Just type geo mean. But here's the thing. Geo mean requires that whatever rates of change there are, you must add one. That adding one, that represents the original principle plus whatever the rate of change is. Now, when I close parentheses, Control Enter, there's the geometric mean. Now, this is fine because the one represents the principle. And whatever the decimal is, that means the average compounding rate per period. Oftentimes, you don't want the one that represents the principle. So you subtract one, and bam average compounding rate per period. And of course, if we want standard deviation, it's right here in the dropdown. This is a sample, tab, close parentheses. And I can't believe it's that easy to create a formula for an aggregate calculation to spill across the columns. Now stay tuned to the next three videos where we're going to see more amazing buy row and buy call tricks where we're spilling aggregate totals.